What's happening? This is the Tap In Podcast. We are live, baby, inside of the Tap In studio. Um, I got a special guest with me today, um, all the way from South Oak Cliff. Yes, My sir. boy, we with it, KG. What's happening, man? Man, tell him, happy to be on the show, man. Yeah, appreciate it, man. Appreciate you for coming appreciate through, you man. Out, man. For sure, man. I had to, you know what I'm saying? Really like, you had to... Um, your yeah, Instagram like blowing up like you drop a video down there every day. You know what I'm saying? Stay consistent. That's what they told me. Stay consistent. You That's right. That's you know right. And so I kinda wanna get um I kinda wanna just find how long you been rapping for? Since two thousand seventeen, but I've been freestyling on and off, you know, all my life. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. And you from uh you from South Oak Cliff, right? Yeah, I'm from Oak Cliff, Lee, Better Boy, Robin Oaks. Okay. <laughs> okay. So um, I want to kind of like I know we're gonna get to your music, right? I, mm-hmm. I definitely want to get to your music, but I want to find out like um, what what is what was like like as a kid just growing up? Just growing up. Yeah. yeah. What was your I'm upbringing? Like, being like my mama, we from the Cliff, but my mama moved from the Cliff in the Grove. Oh, uh, okay. You know That's why my little brother be mostly in the grow, so we had, man, it was going down. It was going down. <laughs> it was one place other than us, me being the big brother coming from the cliff, trying to act with his friends from the grove, or uh, my partners from the grove to see me, we always fight, you know, you know what I'm saying? Now, it, now is the grove, because for people who don't know, right, is the grove, is it nearby Oak Cliff, or yeah, how like, far? The grove, if you, on my part of Oak Cliff, live better. The grow probably five, four minutes away. You just going down the bridge. Mm. Once you go down that bridge, you know they greet in the grow like it's still from the cliff. Yeah, yeah. Hey, wait, nah, ain't, you ain't finna be from Oak Cliff. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like, it's like that in the cliff though. You ain't finna be in the grow making no noise. I mean, from the grow making no noise in the cliff. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Fight, you know, just average hood stuff. Yeah. How many? How many uh, brothers and sisters you got? My mama's side is just three of us. Okay. You know, it's little daddy, the one that's coming to rap, and my other brother, Free Kiki, by the way, he locked up. Okay. And my daddy, I'm the oldest, but he got about five, six, probably seven kids. Straight up. <laughs> <laughs> daddy was a rolling stone. Yeah, uh, yeah. Daddy was out here putting it down. Now, yeah, <laughs> that's what's up, man. Days. He had fun doing his day. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, you know who you remind me of, dog? Like... When I watching, cause what um, I found your videos on Instagram, right? Mm. And I know you probably hear this a bunch. You remind me of like a young little Bootsy. Man, <laughs> I swear, I'm telling you, I'm telling That's you, what you, they say. you remind me of That's a young like, little Bootsy, man. Like, bro, you Bootsy the hood. I'm not a little Bootsy. Man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I get that a lot. Though. I don't know if it's your your voice, your tone, or <laughs> what. You know what I'm saying? Like that's who you remind me of. No, but that's why I get a lot. Even when they peek me DM me, they be like, "Boy, you look just like Boots." I'm like, "No, I do not. <laughs> I look like myself." It might be just the dark skin. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? The but dark when I'm skin. In the hood, my partner Sam. You know what I'm saying? He had told me like two years ago. He was like, "Bitch, you don't know. You the Boots of the hood." Yeah. I was like, "Nah." <laughs> man, I'm that. I like, yeah, it's it's actually a compliment though. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's a no. compliment. But I don't even listen to Boosie. That was the craziest. I was like, man, he get on my nerves. If his voice <laughs> yeah. get on my nerves, I know my voice get on their nerves. <laughs> yeah. But your voice, like, pierce, you know what I'm saying? When when you come on, like, just from the songs that I heard, when you uh-huh. come on the song, uh-huh. like, I recognize, oh, that's KG. You know <laughs> yeah. what I'm saying? I recognize yeah, that's KG like, voice. KG, you know what I mean? That's Lil Daddy. Yeah. And it, you, as, a, as a rapper, I think that's important that yeah. you got a distinguishing voice so yeah. anytime you jump on any song uh-huh. they know exactly who you are you know it's what i'm saying crazy. and i've been getting a lot of dm for features like i ain't think that you know like man i barely can rap myself i don't know if i can out rap you on your song they be like nah fam i need a feature from you yeah hey, yeah <laughs> yeah man. it's this one freestyle that i seen on your page that you was doing man um you was in the car and i was like where's this song at like i want to hear the song for this i'm gonna have to go to it and see you i'm t- i don't i was like I, I need a song because the beat was dope you know what i'm saying the beat was dope and you was rapping i was like this nigga need to make a song out of this you know what i'm saying trying to see which one i be doing that a lot yeah yeah, yeah. Trying to keep me you know what I'm keep saying? you Going sharp on, yeah and sharp like cause i listen to somebody else's music I, I listen to somebody else's music and i'll be like 
what if I use it in my way? You yeah. know what I'm saying? What if I use this word the way he uses it, but a different way? Yeah. You know? so I'm like, okay. Yeah. That um, and you got another one on there that uh, Tatiana. Tatiana. <laughs> boy. Tatiana, I was like, <laughs> this is the kind of music that I want to hear from KG. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. That shit go hard. And that's the crazy thing. A lot of my fans, bro, I swear to God, I'm a street nigga. That's yeah. why I, I, I named my mixtape from the streets to the sheets. Mm. Because most people like my music be like, I like it. The the mellow, the cool type. I don't like your rowdy music. I don't see you in yeah. that rowdy yeah. bad. I be like, but. Well, that's rapping, this harmonizing, this, you yeah. know what I'm saying, making a melody to a song. That yeah. Like, well, you need to make melodies for songs to stop rapping. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I think, because um, I think a lot of a lot of the street dudes, right, uh -huh. of course they, they want to be street, street, you know what I'm saying, and, you know, say whatever's on their mind, whatever. But at the end of the day... Women are the yep. ones who buy music. buy music. They support the music. Yep. That's how you going to either blow up or not. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you got to make music for the you women. Tell them the truth. You know what I'm saying? That's, be, that's who be on my butt. Like, if I make a rap song, I get a DM or I see one of my hunger. Well, what about you going to make another slow song? Because <laughs> <laughs> they, they the ones that buy the music. Yeah, they, they miss with my You know what I'm saying? Song. They don't want to buy the music. Now, who... um. Who does your videos? Who, who shoots your videos Mellow, for? Mellow Visions, man. That's my that's my boy. Okay. Hello, Mellow. But I, it ain't just Mellow. You know, I mess with P a lot, too. You know what I'm saying? And uh, SK. That's who we started with. Okay. You know okay. SK. And these people from your hood? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I met SK, dude, my little brother, little daddy, because it's crazy how we met Melo, because we was going to shoot the video with Melo, but I didn't know who Melo was, and my brother was like, well, I got this other dude that'll shoot, and mm. we ran to SK, he a good dude, too. Oh, okay, okay. So I just been, but lately, just Melo, because that's where my little fan base at. Yeah, you know okay. So. And y'all do y'all do videos, like, like often, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. so like, serious, like, in order, and I think... And with this day and age, mm -hmm. you gotta put those yeah, visuals you got to, with the music. You know what I'm saying? They want to see the face behind the voice. Exactly. You know what I'm I was like, okay, but I got my own channel too, and it's starting to go up. I got like 400 subscribers right now. On YouTube? Now. Yeah. Okay. So I'm doing. I'm managing Mellow page, and I'm dropping them on my page too to try to, you know what I'm saying? So I come up. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's what's up. And you know what I noticed? Like what I really. What I really was like, yo, I need to, I want to talk to dude. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. One, because I see you got your own thing, the We With It um, yeah, the we uh, with crew. It yeah, you know, the brand. Five, five, six of us. Okay, that's what I wanted to ask. Because it was like, because when I, when, I, um, when I went on Instagram and I put in We With It, a <laughs> yeah. bunch of people popped up. That's the game. And I was like, <laughs> okay, which one? And I was like, okay, let me see. But then I seen your page had most the most consistency on yeah. there. So I was like, let me let me get gravitate to that dude right there. Yeah. And that's what made me reach out because I was like, this dude is consistent. He's I got to be. Uh, yeah, man, you know what I mean? It's like me and my little brother, we the head hoe. We the CEO and president, so we with it. You know okay. what I'm saying? Okay. Then you got all, oh, you got We With It Steve, you got We With It DG, you got We With It TJ, and We With It LaBelle, Free LaBelle too, you know what I'm saying? Okay. And everybody in their own lane, but we all one. Yeah, you yeah, know yeah. What I'm saying? We're not trying to sound alike. We don't even probably like the same music, but when we come together, oh yeah, Hot Boy too. You know, I got a We With It Hot Boy, he just got out. Mm, you know okay. What I'm saying? But we, we, when we come together, it's like. Voltron. Yeah, you yeah, know what yeah. I'm saying? And you ain't gonna, it's, you, you'll get like. I ain't gonna even lie. We don't do a lot of songs together, but we featuring on all our songs. Like Steve might go do a song with Hot Boy, and they be like, "Hey, KG, we just did a song." So I go add my verse, and I be like, "Hey, little daddy, me and Hot Boy, and they add their verse." Uh, so okay. people be thinking we did it at once. Oh, uh, nah, okay. They might be going to do some. I might be over here at the studio. They over here, but they like, "Oh, nah, this hot." Yeah. So we been leave this alone. Gonna mess with this. You yeah. Know what I'm and everybody got their own style. That's what I like about it. Okay. Have y'all have y'all um dropped like an album? Yeah. Uh, we actually both uh, the whole group then dropped two mixtapes. Okay. We on my mixtape. I'm on Pandora. Okay. We on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Steve and the Hot Boy dropped Demon on Demon. We with a little daddy dropped uh. What is it? Heart of the Streets? Yeah, we would live there drop Heart of the Streets. We would a TJ that drop Mentally Ill. I like TJ too, man. Yeah, that's my boy. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's the one with the red hair, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah, that nigga hard. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 
And who else? Oh, and I drive from the streets from the streets to, to the, the sheets. sheets. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. We got a whole mixtape on my mixtapes with Bugatti Casino. Talking about every track. Just mm. Me, Lil Daddy, and Boo. Oh, and Toya T, too. Shout out. That's my cousin. Okay. And what else we did? That's it right now. And okay. That's hard, man. <laughs> like, that, because, listen, I know I don't know how hard it is to make music. You know what I mean? <laughs> but when I tell you, I, I feel like rappers now are kind of like the uh, the poets back in the day yeah. you know what i'm saying like same way how people big up poets from 1800s uh -huh. like when you look at the history books down the line yeah. this, the rappers the, rap. the niggas who making the music now are the people who's gonna be like idolized back then and yeah, so like right. <laughs> i big i big any of y'all up who actually get in the studio because that shit ain't easy man it ain't easy to have you gotta make someone believe in you Exactly. You can believe in yourself, but can you make this person believe in you? Yeah, you know what I'm saying that's the hard thing about. Yeah, it. what's your um, what's your process um to making music? Do you hear the beat first, or do you write the rap first? <laughs> you know, I ain't gonna lie, I have never wrote a rap down. Are no, you serious? I'm serious. I never wrote a rap down. What I do, like some days, you know, it might be I browse through YouTube to hear some beats, but I might not do those beats because you know that YouTube beats, but. The thing I do, I freestyle on that beat and remember my freestyle. Mm -hmm. I won't remember the whole thing, but you yeah. know, bits and pieces. Then you like, oh, I just came up with a whole nother song. Yeah, <laughs> you know? okay. You know so you kind of like the Jay Z of the South. <laughs> you yeah, don't write your uh, shit down. Me and Lil Daddy, we haven't wrote a song. TJ, he's good at writing. That's what he do. TJ writes. High Boy and Steve and DG, they write, but they do freestyle too. You know what I'm saying? They will free. They'll write. Four boys freestyle the other pole, right? Four boys and see, I just I, I be having so much do I just freestyle and once I hear the beat and it's my time to go, I'ma go go. You you, you know? going. I'm okay. Go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up, man. Now um I know like and I've been hearing because I I kinda wanna get back to this South Oak Cliff, because like I feel like a lot of I've been hearing a lot of noise about Dallas rappers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like Yellow Beezy, like the Mo Three, Three. yeah. Um, like I feel like Dallas is on the come up for for music. Yeah. You know what I mean? We are. We are. What is it about? Um, what is it about Dallas artists where they just go so hard for <laughs> for the city? You know what I mean? Because like we feel like no other city is like Dallas. Okay. If you go anywhere else, where do they get their swag and their taste from? Dallas. If you go anywhere, what city they hate the most? Dallas. You know mm. what I'm saying? So why they hate Dallas? Because we stay in our own lane. We do our own thing. You go to Houston, you see swangles and foes. You'll hardly see that in Dallas. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? We do our own, and we going eights or better. What's eights? What's eights? Uh, 28 inches or 30 inches, you know what I'm saying? Like Yeah, y'all do got some high-ass cars. <laughs> <laughs> like everything's bigger in Texas, you know yeah. what I'm saying? That's what we say, and that's what we stand by. So mm. it's like, okay, you from Chicago, and I'm from Texas. Even though you got more gang ties than I do, but we supposed to be bigger than you, so I'm going to go harder than you to real my city. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, Because what, what they say, three out of four every black man, one of them dying, and I ain't trying to be that one to die. You That's know right. Goddamn like, right. I got to go hard. Yeah. yeah. And I, I, I like, and I feel like Dallas got a, um, got a certain kind of like flow to him because Dallas is like, I feel like Dallas is more like laid back, yeah. chill, yeah. kind of slow, you know what I mean? And I feel like they got their own like um I don't know, it's it's it's, it's weird to kind of explain, but Dallas got their own like We got our own. See, we always been able to get even coming up as a youngster. You watch your daddy hustle, you watch your mama, your grand, you watch somebody hustle. They go on in every hood, but at her you know, Dallas is a, like Oak Cliff, South Dallas. Where, that's the struggle for real. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So to make it out of there, you can't do nothing but hustle. Yeah. Or get ran off the block or be, you know, right. statistic. Right. You don't want to be a statistic. Why is it? Why do you think it's so much like competition, like in in that in that hood, like? Because I don't know. To be honest, I thought I think like if if I can help somebody, you know what I'm saying, I'm a help. So if I'm down, I want you to help me. You know what right. I'm saying, vice versa. But it's like these days, you get somebody a microphone, a camera, and some money. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, they turn it up. Of the <laughs> yeah, I wonder why that is, man. Like, because I'm from I'm from LA, right? Yeah. And what I feel about the this little city that I grew up in in LA 
it's not a lot of resources, right? Mm -hmm. It was like one or two malls, you know what I mean? In in the holes, like <laughs> yeah. in the vicinity, you know what I mean? And then if you really wanted to go to the mall, you had to go out to the like suburbs, yeah. right? And I feel like when sh when certain clothes and shoes and stuff drop, it's Man. limited amounts and to the amount of people. Yeah. So it just creates this um, this inner city like competition because yeah. everybody is trying to get. Yeah. You know what I mean? Everybody's trying to get those yeah. shoes or everybody's trying to get that the what's hot or what's new. What's new, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so it just breathes that like that that I don't know, cause it's like I know what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, why why it gotta be like this? Yeah, it yeah. Could be, you know what I'm saying? And then it's like the people who who can't afford to go to the store and get it, them niggas finna run up on what? you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, yo. You gotta get it. Man. You know what I mean? It's like I don't know, like, I thank God that I never got caught up in what materialistic. Yeah, yeah. It's like, they got to be the flyest. You got to be fly than your partner. If me and you riding together, and from some reason, niggas is like, I have to be flyer than you. Even though we partners. We supposed to be on the same level. Or I have to have a dollar more than you. If you got a dollar more than me, I'm mad. Why? Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Why? Hey, we shouldn't be like that. If I got a dollar and you got a dollar, we got two dollars. That's right. You know what yeah. Saying? Bust this bitch down. <laughs> yeah, bust you know down. what I'm saying? But that's not how people look. They want you to have 50 cents and them have a dollar 50. That's right, man. <laughs> so let me ask you, what's your um, what's your goal in the music business? What What are you trying to, what like your you, ultimate Cause I believe that you know what I mean your mouth is power. Yeah. So whatever you speak, that shit gonna come true. So I always kind of find I always want to get what you want to do out mm -hmm. there in the universe, so that shit could come true to you. Yeah. So what is it that you? That's your ultimate goal in the music business. To make it out and be able to provide for like I got a bunch of young niggas that's rapping too. You know what I'm saying? I want to be able to, and they look up to. Hey, KT, we need to go to the studio today. Or, hey, we got to do this. I want to make it to where we all at the same level. If I make it up to where my kids won't have to get nothing no more, you know what I'm saying? They don't need for nothing. Yeah. My mama won't need for nothing. And my little partners can do what they want to do. Mm. You know what I'm saying? They can, and my little brother, he already a beast. Watch. You're going to see, if you go pay attention to his music, he already a beast. What's his name? Little Daddy, little right? Daddy, oh, okay. Yeah. So I'm like, I know he going to hold his ground. You know what I'm saying? We got the team. They're going to hold their ground. So I just want to make it to where I can help everybody make it. Like to open the door, not just for the music game, but I'm going to do, you know, I want to do more than just music. But yeah. I want to open up doors. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, That's yeah. my goal. Okay. Open up doors for the ones that didn't have it like I did. Yeah, okay. And you, you own the rights to We With It, right? That's your, yep, that's your thing. Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> that's what's good. Because yeah, right. I always, and I, what I hate is, We've been hearing um, for years. I mean, for me, I'm probably a little older than you. I'm 40. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I've been hearing for years that artists always get mad that they get, they sign bad contracts yeah. or, you know what I'm saying? But from, like, my favorite artist is Nipsey. You know what yeah, I'm saying? I fuck with Nipsey. Yeah, that's my favorite <laughs> artist. You know what I mean? And what he was able to do is... He signed himself to his company, yep. all money in, and then he licensed or partnered up with a bigger company. That's what I said I'd do. I would do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I signed a contract. Like, I didn't have, like, it's been two years. We had went to Detroit. We the best is three, 300 and 10 Atlanta Records tried to sign us, but they was all trying to do it as one branch. So it was going to leave us, like, with probably 10,000, mm. which... In the streets, that ain't nothing, you know. What right, I'm right, right, right. Like I want to be able to get enough money not to be. I can take ten thousand. I'm gonna be back in the hood once I go buy a car and right. a house that I'm renting. I right. should be able to own. You right. know what I'm saying? And uh, it went bad. It went down there. They they got the tickets and everything. There. They flew me down there to. Uh, we got to the hotel. They got some weird stuff. So, who was you working you with? Know. Do you remember the name? <clears throat> oh. Mike Will now. Mike Will was down there. Sean, Big Sean, because me and Big Sean supposed to did the song together. Oh, uh, okay. And we was gonna sign with DJ Khaled, and then we the best. You know mm. what I'm saying? They had photo shoots lined up for me and everything, but it's just when I got there, it wasn't right. You trying to sign me and six more artists to three record labels, and after all the promotion and stuff, you telling me I don't think I got left over ten thousand dollars? Like, yeah. What am I gonna do with that? It, it was something though. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, like, yeah. Shit, but I was like, damn, I got 
Ah, oh, what we gonna get a thousand a piece? Right. Twelve hundred dollars. Right, right. We just sold ourselves for twelve hundred dollars. Right. Like that's why I say I'll partner or be a license with somebody. I'll study signing it. Let's we do a three sixty or something like that. But you assign the three sixty? If it's like twelve months. You know what I'm okay. saying? Okay. <laughs> okay. I don't want nothing that's going to have me in debt. Like, I don't want nothing to have me. I look at it like, what's that payday events? If mm. I go ask them for 100, they want 150 back. Right. So I'm not right. going to go. <laughs> <laughs> Let somebody give me a hundred and I owe them hundred and fifty. Right. And I know I ain't finna make that hundred and fifty back. Right, you know right. What, what can you explain to the people who are watching like exactly what is a, a three sixty deal? Do you cause I understand it to a point, yeah, but I don't really fully understand like what's a three sixty deal. It's, it's like you sign into a label, but you're not signing into a label. You sign for them to dispute your music. You know mm. what I'm saying? Even though they're going to make some off of it, but you'll make the majority. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And it won't be a long-ass contract to where three years and I'm getting you $5,000 or $10,000. you like, three years, man? Right, right. right. <laughs> Five years? No. Give yeah. me something quick and simple so if I mess up, I can pay back real fast. You know what I'm saying? And I, from what I understand is like the 360 is not just your music – if you selling merchandise, yeah. if you touring, so, yeah, they, 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 they want a piece of all of that. You know what I mean? All that <laughs> money where <laughs> I heard like back in the day, that's where <coughs> usually rappers and artists really make their money from, from their merchandise and, yeah. and they touring. And they, but if if the music company or, or record label, whatever, if they taking that, like where are you making your money from? You really not. That's why you got to like, Negotiate a good one mm. You know what I'm saying Like That's why I say I ain't gonna take no deal Cause I'm the one Like if you If I'm going on tour And I have to pay for my own tour And you gonna give me the money back When I get there Ain't no point of me paying for my I mean ain't no point of me Even signing with you Right You know what I'm saying Like That's why it's a lot of contracts That like You will You will back away from Even though that you don't got it Like Most people will jump on That's why I say You gotta thank God I do a lot of things I had a little money Coming into this So I just didn't jump on what they, you know what I'm saying? We had a lot, and we even had local labels that came at us. Really? You know what I'm saying? Like rap a lot or like, no. Nah. Nah, local, like, uh, motherfucker. Oh, I ain't mean to say. <laughs> no, nah, you I can can't cuss whatever. I can't that uh, little group. It's in my uh, Gmail. Okay. Uh, we got, like, we didn't have Warner Brothers come at us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I asked him a Gmail. Mr. Monty Oton. Yeah. Oton, however you say his name. They had a nice little contract. It was 65K. Mm. But see, my thing is, and I'll be, I'll be, I'll be not worried, but I just hate to for us as black people, right? Mm-hmm. For us to just jump at the first, first little piece of money because if he if he offering you sixty five, how much yeah. you think he can make off I'll- of? <laughs> you making 65 You know what I mean And that's why I was looking at, And I wasn't doing it by myself I had a hip and hand You know I had my girls here Tell me Then I had my partners Be like Man really look over These contracts So I always had help Do you I have an attorney You have an attorney That could look over them Uh uh-uh. uh I was gonna get one With Detroit But now I, Since I've been Bagging away from them I ain't even thought To hire another one Cause I've been doing it All on my own I'm like <laughs> Okay Alright Cause I, I always heard like any attorney, if they if they no negotiating your deal, like instead of paying them up front for it, uh-huh. have them do it where, hey man, if you negotiate this deal, if this is a good deal, then I just give you some of the money uh, from the contract. You know what I mean? So that I way you don't have it. to, yeah, that way you don't have to pay them out pay of your own up. pocket. If it's a good deal, then yes, yeah, let's go with it. But if it's not, then all right, cool. You know what I mean? You may have to pay them a couple of hundred. To look over it initially, yeah, like three fifty, they said. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. A couple of hundred to look over it yeah. initially, but in the long run, what you, I, I would say, what what you would want to do is get somebody that could partner with you that could build on what you got. Yeah. And if not, keep doing what you're doing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Keep keep building it in the streets because the people in the streets, like the record company, is one thing, right? Yeah. But the loyalty from the people that you come in contact in the streets, 
they the one that's going to actually blow you up. You yeah, know what I mean? That's who listen to you. And I, a lot of my partners and cousins and brothers, I hear them listening to my stuff. You know what I'm saying? Or they'll be like, hey, what's your, what, what's your name on YouTube so I can let them hear this song? I was yeah. like, yeah. <laughs> so I got a lot of love. You know, hate comes with the love, though. You know what I'm saying? But I, people actually listen to me. That's why I be so surprised. Like, dang, just three years ago, this was a joke. We was just going to the studio just to be going, and then we really getting people to, like, my followers and everything. I'm like, oh, no, nah, it's really working out. Yeah, and the one thing that I want to acknowledge that that the, how I found you, mm-hmm. right, those fucking hashtags <laughs> that you use on yeah. all your videos, that's how I found you. Like, people don't, some, a lot of people be like, I'm not putting hashtags on my stuff, but it's like, mm-hmm. when I go into Instagram, like, I, I'll put Dallas Rapper. And then uh, you came up. You know what I'm saying? That's that's yeah, exactly how I found thing. you. Use and you using the social media to yeah. get you out there. You know what I'm saying? Hey, it's, it's to our Venice right now. That's how everybody blowing up. One video go viral and you be And you it. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. was it. Yeah. It's like one song, one verse. Yeah. So I try to stay consistent. Cause you never know when is that song. Yeah. And I, another thing I heard was I might not like other people will. Somebody gonna like it. You know what I'm saying? It was a lot of songs I recorded. And shot videos too that I didn't too much curve for, but I went and looked at the video numbers and looked at the video numbers to the one I curved for. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. oh, they for real yeah. about this. Because yeah. the song I thought went hard and get nothing but such and such, but the one I ain't like got this many. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's why it's like when it comes to like art, you never can you never can actually hold on to it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because the one you like, yeah. like you said, you like People may not be feeling be that. like I would, but the one I did, and I'm like, man, that motherfucker don't want number. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, oh, man, shit. That's how it be, though. Yeah, it do. Because I know the same thing, like, every time I do an interview, uh-huh. I be like, yo, this the one. <laughs> this, this the one. It's going to blow up. Yeah. And then people be like, nah. And then the one I be like, eh, yeah, mm-hmm. it'll be all right. People you, love it. You know what I mean? Yeah, so you I'm, never, you, you never, never know. know. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I just I go with the flow. I'm just put it out there. Whatever happens, happens. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I've been doing lately. Yeah, man. Do you um are do you, are you equipping yourself uh for when you do blow up? Like you got everything like, cause I I what I what I hate is um not what I hate. Let me not say that. What I want to make sure is all of us that's getting into this and into that mm-hmm. music business that we know both sides, the music and the business. You know what I mean? Yeah. Are you equipping yourself for when you do blow up? Yeah, I've been equipping myself, you know what I'm saying, little by little, figuring out things, learning new things. But like, okay, well, if I be in this situation, I need to try to do it this way. But, yeah, I've been hearing about the music side and the business side. Okay. They say the music side might be good, but you better get the business side right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. They say you got to get the business side right, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's, yeah. That's the hard part, too, because coming up as an underground, you know, not – People in Dallas know me, but not too many people, so they'll try to just, you know, handle you any kind of way because your name is holding weight, but it's not holding the yellow beezy weight right. or the trap weight. You right. know what I'm saying? So yeah. they'll be like, this, is this they vibes? She'll be like, damn, but if I was trap, I'd have seen you talk to this man like he was Jesus, but it came to me. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? But we begin, it's like lately, uh, it's been more and more people reaching out and like, my little brother been getting one of his songs played on the radio through 97.9, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So, like I say, it's getting better, but at first, woo we man, we had hard times with everybody. Like what kind, of, like what you mean? Like, you know, when you first come in the game, even to build a relationship, you have to spend money. Mm. So, I wasn't, I ain't finna get no nigga no money to get on my song. So, like I say, this is why Melo, my boy, Melo, he was like, hey man, one day he just came to me. I don't know what we was talking about. He was like, you need to go and get a feature from Boo. And I was like, Boo got it? Casino the one be with Yayo? He was like, yeah. I was like, I do be watching that. That's my nigga. I like that nigga, man. Nigga be punking people. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So, boom. Oh, he was like, yeah, I can get you a feature for 800. So, I'm like, 800? That's <laughs> got <laughs> I ain't caught no yeah, yeah, yeah. $800 for a feature So I run it by my little brother He like That'll be a good look But I'm still in the back of my mind Like man I gotta pay this man $800 yeah. Just to do a song But more to a story Be his relationship Like now Us and Casino Gang like brothers You can't mention you, Boo will tell you Like yeah Them my niggas We be at each other's house We thugging You know what I'm yeah, saying But yeah. like I say b- Before he knew us 
he had to get the money. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. But now he like, oh no, nah, man, I wish I would charge y'all for a picture, but that's the same thing with Lil Ronnie. Before I just before we build a relationship, I had to pay him for a feature. Mm. And now that I pay him for a feature, he don't speed that. Hey, Lil Ronnie, what's up, bro? Let's go do this right here. You yeah. know what I'm saying? He fucks with me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I be like, you gotta when you come in the game, have your own money because they will chump change. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, yeah. And you gotta put your music out on our platforms. That's another thing. You gotta put it out because when we was this putting it on like YouTube, we'll get views, you know, you like, man, I got a thousand views, but it ain't nothing, you know what? Ain't nothing moving. Yeah, yeah, ain't nothing move, but if you put it on like Spotify, you put it on TuneCore or something, you'll start seeing like you can go check your account like, damn, I got fifty dollars in my account today. Like they listening to me, huh? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So it's like you gotta just stay on your A game coming in the game. That's all I like to say. Stay on your A game. Yeah, yeah. Well, how did you get your money before um before you started rapping, uh, you know it was hustle all the way around hustle. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm Anything you could talk about on <laughs> <laughs> just all the way around hustle. Okay, okay. <laughs> all right, we in the street hustling. Okay, because mm-hmm. here's my thing about like dudes from because this this is who I was right as a kid. Mm-hmm. I was a dude who played sports, right? Yeah, it was me too. The street niggas would be like, man, get your ass out the way. You know what I'm saying? That's that's how they treated me. Yeah. Man, move out the way, man. But I was kind of like nosy. I'm kind of intrigued. Like, And then once I got older, like it was like you got you had to be intelligent to, yeah. to, 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 to be able to navigate the streets. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you you got to be some kind of smart be. to be able to navigate the streets. And I'm just like... What is it like? I always thought like, okay, if this drug dealer or this dude that was hustling or whatever he was doing in the streets, if he put that energy into something else, what could he be? You know what Man. I'm saying? What could he actually do with that? And you and you being honest because I've been like before. I was just putting all my energy in rap. I was out there every day on the block. You know, everybody knew where to come see me at. You know what I'm saying? But then I was like. A dude told me one day, he was like, why you investing in all these drugs? Because I was just buying drug after drug after drug, trying to make some money. Mm. He said, the best thing to ever do is invest in yourself. So I ain't know what he meant by that, you know what I'm saying? So years on down the line, like I said, here come the rap. And now, most of all I do is go to the studio, call my brother them, let's go to the studio, let's get this shit together. Because if we can make this money in hustling, and this rap money is easy as this hustle money, we might as well move out the way. Because your goal in the streets anyways, if you hustle, you hustling to get out the street to make a better, you know what I'm saying, provide right. for your family. Like, if I'm hustling, my goal was to get me a little business started. Right, but this rap came along. I'm still gonna give me a business started, but right, you, you know, got a business started already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This could be the business that I want thinking that I was gonna get started. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I was like, when I was out there, and you, and they will manipulate. Them oh streets yeah, will because I, I fell in them for a long time. You know what I'm saying? What you mean you fell in them? I, I played in the streets too long. I'd have been shot. I'd have been to the penitentiary. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> How? What happened? Like, uh, this 2008. Trapping out there on the Grove, me and my brother and them, like I said, we from the cliff. Uh-huh. So we out there acting up, and uh, a dude knocked on the door. I popped a half a syrup quill and bar. That's when I was popping pills. Mm-hmm. Dude knocked on the door. I think he asked for some exos or something, and he pulled out a gun and said, I don't think I mean, I was laying on the floor. I don't know what the fuck. They say I got up and tried to go out the door or something, and he popped me. Boom, boom. But, you know what I'm saying, I took out, I tried to run out the patio, he shot again, boom, that's how he hit me in the leg. But, you know, as being shot, you don't feel it. That you like, yeah. Get the, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, And my partner, uh, my, my partner Lil said he just got out of jail, too. Shout out Key Run, man. He had took me to the hospital right then on the scene and shot back at the people for me, you know what I'm saying? Damn. And after that, still hard-headed in the streets, caught a dope case. Went to TDC. Damn. <laughs> so I done been, my mama say ain't nothing in the streets but the death in the pen of the and down there experience death and been to the pen, so it's time to make How a How long was you in the pen for? Man, I did four on a five, like a dummy. <laughs> Damn. Now, what's a, explain what's a four on a five. I had a five-year sentence. Could have came home in six months, but done four years on it because I was listening to penitentiary stories, listening to people in jail, like, when you go to the pen, niggas going to do this, or nigga won't try you, game banging this. Yeah, I was what I was like, 
23 though when I hit the pen. I'm 32 now, so mm. then I'm still like, yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm to turn you up. Just turn up, yeah. yeah. Until I learned, like, oh man, I want to go home. What is that? What did that experience teach you when you was locked up? I ain't gonna lie. Did you learn anything from that? Did you it's get crazy anything? when you say you like penitentiary or jail makes you smarter. Mm -hmm. You know, you got some people that still be like same dumb criminals, but it make you smarter by the way you move, like people you bring around you. It make you more cautious, put it like that, because your silly can be hating on you and want to kill you. Mm, you know what I'm saying So yeah, yeah. your silly Your partner When you're in the streets Your partner can be your silly You know what I'm saying That yeah. same nigga That want the key Yeah yeah So I look at it like that Then you learn lessons From the streets I done seen my partner Kill a partner I done seen You know what I'm saying Snake stuff goes on Yeah I'm like man I had one or two choices This at the time I had one kid I was like Shut up One or two choices I got a little girl I could be out here for Or I can try this again And end up in the pen mm, You know what I'm saying Yeah So I was like I told my little girl, God dang me. And now I got As two kids. Yeah. I got a little girl and a little boy. Oh, uh, okay. How um, old are they? Oh, uh, my little girl, she's gonna be nine on the twenty eight and my little boy, he like sixteen months. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. How does um cause I'm about to have a little girl myself in a month. Man. Yeah. <laughs> how does having a little girl change you? How does that how does that change you? No, I ain't gonna lie, it changes you because it make you like you don't want your little girl to do a lot of things. You know what I'm saying? Make you, like, picky when you see female. Like, oh, no, nah, no, nah, my little girl can't be like, oh, even when you see other little kids, you're like, oh, my little girl ain't going to be that fast. Yeah, you know yeah, 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 yeah. It's just make you, like, you be happy because it's, it's good for a boy, but when you got a girl, you know, it's like, that's your princess. Your son right. is your prince. You know, he going to be hard. Right. But your daughter, you got to show her how to be treated like, hey, your daddy might have been a dog nigga, but yeah. I got to show you how to yeah. avoid the dog. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But it's fun, though. Like, my little girl, she play basketball. She love, she love doing what I'm doing. So, she basically my little boy, too. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Whatever I do, she do. Yeah. But it's precious having a little girl, man. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I ain't going to lie, man. I'm nervous. I, 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 already got t I already got twin girls. But, you know what I mean? Me and they mom wasn't together. Yeah. You know so, what I'm saying? Yeah, so, now I got... My so, girl with my wife. So I was saying, it's this caution. Is you like, man, I'm going to have to tell her about boys. And yeah. Nigga, she's going to be nine. And I'm going to have to tell her. You got to put on a bra. And, you know, I don't want to go. <laughs> Damn, all that like, shit you don't want to have to yeah. do. I'm like, man. Yeah. Damn, she ain't daddy's little girl in a minute. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. And that's and then, and I got, a, I got a stepson with my wife. And it's like, on one hand, like with me and him, it's like we just bonded. I'm just trying to turn him into man. Yeah. I'm hard on him. Yeah. But when my girl come, it's going to be, he going to be looking like, why you ain't doing her like yeah. that? You know what I mean? And I think that's, that's how my son might look with each other. Like, <laughs> yeah. why you so tough on me? Because, you know, my son, that's my nigga. I yeah. can't wait till he get, but I got to wait till he get a little older. older. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's yeah. my dog. Yeah. You know? It ain't nothing like having a male version of you. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, man, I got a boy and a girl, so... God damn me, I'm happy. I don't want no more right now. You but done. If, I, if something come, I take. But man, it ain't nothing but a joy though having a little boy and a little girl. Man. Yeah, man. man. It's precious to me because, like I said, I was in the streets. Like we didn't have to be. Don't get like, my mama went to work every day, but she, my mama worked two jobs with three boys. So we like, she would. Yeah, them niggas out there making some money. Right. Even though I was, it ain't, I ain't gonna make it seem like I just straight jumped off. Like I was in the football. Mm. I was say I was football, yeah. and my brother Kiki always that's the, hey <laughs> he here so he always be like, bro we always sit in the house man, bring these pro wings, bro. Them niggas out there making some money. So me, I'm like, well, I was, me and my brother we like this. His, his name tatted on his name tatted on. So we like this. I'm like, okay, okay, we gonna give it a try. <laughs> you know yeah. What I'm so we go out there, it's this dude burner. So we didn't know how to buy crack, you know what I'm saying? So we started making candle wax. <laughs> so, <laughs> candle wax. Candle wax. So yeah. me and we we involved my mama uh my mama boyfriend at the time. It was our stepdad. Yeah. <laughs> so we got him selling candle wax and that's how we got introduced to the game. We we had he showed us how to do like a cookie worth of candle wax and we sold it to one truck driver for like I think we had got like eight hundred dollars. And we had when it got us a little, that's when it was a half zone, it used to be 540. Mm. We had got that in. 
You know what I'm saying? Took out then we had an ain't it that used to come bless our game with. Yeah. <laughs> That's all we knew. Like shit, by the time mama get home, she ain't get home at eight. We got from goddamn, we skipping school. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> we yeah. doing all that. Yeah, yeah. We finna go get this money. Until one day my we let my mama find out we had when it hit a lick. So we were like, man, we got a number hunt. So we were like 16, 15, we had six thousand dollars in blue faces. Mm. So we thinking we Oh, oh. Yeah. So we go to my mama, we had to go home and confess. We done robbed the lady. We go home, we like, yeah, we making a rain blue face. So she coming, where y'all get this money from? Yeah. We yeah. Like, Man, we robbed Broom Bazaar. <laughs> she was like, Y'all robbed Broom Bazaar. <laughs> we were like, yeah, man. The lady walking down the street with us and the money bag. So she whooped our ass and spent the money <laughs> with us. <laughs> and she <laughs> spent the money with you. <laughs> <laughs> and Damn. we had to buy her and my stepdaddy something. <laughs> so really? After that, she was like, she wasn't cool with it at all, but she kind of knew, like, man, yeah, my motherfucking kids keep sneaking out this, but they they keeping the bills all right. You yeah. Know what I'm she didn't approve of it till we got grown. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Where was Pops at? Where was your Pops at? Oh, man, my daddy, man, he was at, he, I think he had got locked back up. And he had got out, but you know what I'm saying? We was mama's boys. I ain't gonna lie. We love our daddy to deal, but my daddy stayed on his end. We stayed on our end. You know what I'm saying? So then he was a hustler. So that's where we got it from. We like, shit, we go down there. He find out we hustling. He gonna kill us. You right. know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he didn't approve yeah. of it. He's still on the prove of it to this day. We tell him about we hustling. He, you weren't doing that, son. I'm gonna teach you to our dad. I'm 30 now. so <laughs> Right, <laughs> right. Can't tell me shit now. <laughs> But, yeah, he was around. I ain't say he wasn't around, yeah, but yeah. we had to keep ourselves from around because we was hustling. Like I said, we were mama's boys. My mama got on we on the block. Mm-hmm. Everybody on the block, I tell you, hey, your kids, my mama walk us to the bus stop. That's what we did. Let the bus leave, and we <laughs> walk out right by. So when she going home, we posted at the donut shop. <laughs> you know damn, damn. But she know, she know, she'll tell you this at home, man. Like, yeah, my kids was here. They, people used to tell me about them skipping school. Yeah, and you said it's three of y'all? Yeah, uh, me, Kiki. Kiki, the one in jail, that's the middle brother. That's the one I say, he, man, damn fool. What happened then? Why? How did he go to? Well, right now, well his case open, but he got a salt with dead, I mean, body. Damn, what is salt with an aggravated whip? I mean, an aggravated assault with a deadly whip. whip. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But his case still open. That's why we can't talk about it, but he'll gotcha. be home soon. Gotcha. Got him, okay. Buddy. Kiki. Kiki, free they know free, free Kiki, Kiki, man. man. <laughs> Niggas yeah, know Kiki. Yeah, free Kiki. Shit. Man. So do you have um you got any like mu- musical influences like you people that you watch like that's oh, really yeah. in the game? Oh yeah, man. I like I ain't gonna lie, man. You know uh, Dallas artists. One one of the main niggas I really listen to is Mo Three. Oh okay. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people be like he fake or he ain't from North Dallas. He ain't. You can't take the man music away. Yeah. You can't take the man. Be- I listen to Yellow Bees and Trap too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Don't get me wrong, but it's like Mo Three. I came from the struggle for real. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, Mo, yeah. the way he rap is like coming from the struggle for real. Yeah. So I I lose. How you say it? I like I'm more with his music than anybody else. But I fuck with uh Lil Wayne, my favorite rapper. I can't leave him out. Lil that's Wayne. My nigga. Okay. That's my nigga, man. That's where I got the freestyling from. When I, I used to watch number Lil Wayne interviews, and he was like he was turning pages out for book man. I think yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah. He ain't wrote a rap since. So yeah. I'm like, shit, I'm the Lil Wayne of the group. Yeah, and you know Mo three, Mo three. That's um, that. They did an album with him and Boots. Yeah, him and Boots. That's why, man. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, they did it's an crazy. album with him and Bootsy. That's crazy. Like, but uh, who else I listen to? You can't take none away from that boy. Uh, <coughs> dang. And I play this dude all the time. Uh, not Ride the Wave. I listen to Ride the Wave too because he remind me of Mo Three. Young Blue. That's my boy. Mm, Young Blue. Cause yeah. Those type of songs I do. I actually remix this Ice on My Bay. Yeah. And everybody, I gotta let you hear that when I bet you gonna be like, "What is you?" Yeah. Everybody let hear that, like, man, you need to drop a video. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Young Blue. Young and he Blue. from Dallas too. Uh uh-uh. uh. Young Blue from I don't know if he from Bama. He in the guy. He signed on the uh. I forgot who Young Blue. Oh, Young Blue signed on the Boosie. Really? That's crazy. I'm telling Young you, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, the, all the, everything is coming back to Boosie. Yep. I'm telling he signed you. Signed on the Boosie, man. That's what's up, man. I'm telling you the way. Everything I'm <laughs> seeing and, and is whether 
I know you 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 probably like be like, man, I'm not Bootsy. You would rather be Lil Wayne, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you rather be Lil Wayne. But I'm telling you, your voice when you rap that that kind of like that high pitch like yeah. voice that you got, I'm telling you that shit pierce the the, the the fucking your ears when yeah. you rap, man. And a lot of people like, and I can understand what you're saying, cause mm-hmm. at first when I first started rapping, people couldn't be like, I cannot understand you. Mm. <laughs> I said because you know when I first first saw that I used auto tune a lot because of my voice, but then the more I went. The more I was able to, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I let you hear it, uh, three songs I done, you're going to be like, all three of them songs are different. Mm. But they all got the same melody and they clear. And I take you to three songs that I did way before. Yeah. You were like, now nah, this what this is T Pain on this <laughs> song. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I, I found myself, you know what I'm saying? And once I found myself, I was like, okay. And I got a short what'd you say uh, uh iron sharpens iron yeah, yeah. So i'm like i gotta sharpen it and, and the more i rap the sharper i got yeah. and it's like the more i post it the more fans and the more people reach out like hey bro you actually sound like your voice your voice this your voice i'm like man this little squeaky boy <laughs> yeah, <laughs> squeaky yeah. Boy. and and what i do like um what i want to what i what I, what I would love to hear is a girl sing your hooks i got if you go to my mixtape, okay, uh, from the streets to the sheets, I got how many songs? I got uh, featuring Toya T, Ride with Me. Okay, I got Story Jones, he sang the hook. Uh, it's called Stay Tonight, and I got a song called Go Slow with Million Dollar Cash. Like I got some songs with females, okay, in, and I got uh oh yeah, my cousin Pig. We got a uh, it's called Money Game. It's unreleased yet. She did the hook on there too. So oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I want to listen because good vibes with the Because I like, I like, I like, <laughs> I like to hear like rap songs where the dudes are singing on the hook. Yeah, but I, I feel like it's nothing like, like when, when you hear woman. that where when you hear that female come and you know what I mean spit that on there, and and you um and you hear and you hear that female. So what's happening, man? What's Let going on? Finally here. What's <laughs> up, man? Dante, man, go and have a seat, man. Pull up. You drinking, man? Are you too young to drink? Nah, he 26. What? <laughs> you 26? I'm going to put them headphones on, man. Put them headphones on. Lil Dally, what's up, man? What's up with it? Ain't shit, man. <laughs> you late to the motherfucker, but you good. You here shit. Nah, for real. <laughs> what's up? You drinking, man? What you want to drink? Yeah, he got hold on, drink, hold on man. real quick. Hold on, let me, let me right. pull up something, man. I like this interview though. Yeah. It was just the fun as one we'd have been to. It's hood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, we went to, hey, you heard of Illinois radio? Nah, you want some hand or vodka? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, right. right, man. That's that. Yeah, yeah, I like this interview. <laughs> we can talk about everything. You grab me that, uh, Mike. You grab me that ice chest right there behind her? Here you go, man. Yeah, oh, yeah, sir. Oh, yeah, appreciate yeah. it. What about now? Good. All right. Yeah, we still rolling. Yeah, Got to take a small chronic break. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, sir. <coughs> Little daddy, man, what's happening? You <laughs> chilling. How long you been rapping, man? About like what? Going on two years. Two like years? Three, since 2017. Yeah. Okay, three about years. the same time? Yeah, three years. Yeah. Okay. Sheesh. And it was a song, man. I can't remember it. Because what I've been doing is just been going down your whole page. Yeah, your whole page, <laughs> just listening to all that shit, man. And I wish I could remember, but I did. I remember seeing you on there, like uh, on one of the songs. And I was like, Yo, this shit is hard, man. You gotta yeah. check out his page. Yeah. Are you uh what's what's your Instagram? We with little daddy. We with little daddy? Okay. Yeah, and I gotta is it is it um is it an underscore or is it just straight we with it? Just straight we with it. Okay. Okay, bet, man. We with little daddy. How was uh how was it growing up with this dude right here, man? <laughs> oh man. What was it like? Tell us tell us what it was like, man. <laughs> oh man, it was I thought we were thugging. <laughs> we were thugging like a motherfucker, like Nah, for real. I was watching them when I was growing up. Like, 
<laughs> he was going hard in the paint. So really like, I just really like step behind them, like oh yeah, following they footsteps. Really. Oh, okay, okay. That's what's up. Now, are you you um y'all? You said y'all CEOs, right? Are yeah, you? Yeah, are we you CEOs? Okay, yeah. bet, bet, bet. It's like, that's, and we with it, we can't have one CEO. Right, yeah, for real, because it's a gang of y'all. Yeah, that's a gang of y'all. <laughs> it's a gang of y'all. Now, here's the one thing that I did want to say, right? Because I hate for us to, to, to I, 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 I do not like the police. You know what I'm saying? I hate them too. I, I don't like the police at all. But, I, but when I noticed on y'all videos, y'all got a lot of guns in that motherfucker, <laughs> man. Y'all niggas, y'all got a goddamn arsenal in y'all goddamn videos. And, and you know what? A lot of people that were telling us, like, man, y'all got to stop doing that, man. Yeah. Y'all got to quit putting all them guns That's why we ain't put them in lately. Yeah, man, because it's like, I, for one, I'm like, okay, who they showing them to? Who they want to <laughs> know that these niggas is fully loaded? You know what I'm saying? But one, another thing, the police is going to be like, all right, we seen y'all with the yep. guns. You know what I'm saying? Yep, yep. So I'll be like... If y'all yeah. could just get rid of them guns, y'all have y'all whole block. Like, yeah. niggas, know, when you see the videos, niggas know that y'all ain't be fucked with. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Niggas know that y'all not to be yeah. fucked with. But y'all don't need to show the guns because I'm like, y'all got to be more strategic, yeah. especially as black dudes out here. You know what I mean? Yeah. Y'all got to be on your toes. And and I, re I read this book um, called The Art of War. Uh-huh. The, the number one thing is the art of surprise. So if anybody come playing with y'all, they don't you don't want them to be prepared. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You, you right. don't want them to be prepared, you so be you don't prepared. need to show them everything that you got. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Catch them niggas off guard if they come over there playing. <laughs> no, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, we had to stop that. We had to stop that. Even some of my cameraman was like, nah, don't pull out the guns out of the video. We were like, hey, man. We, I don't even know why we used to. It really was the people, I probably, when they pull up, you know, being in the clip in the grove, you got to pull up with your scrap. Yeah. You don't know what pop off. So as soon as the camera come out, everybody pulled the gun out. So we like, shit, we ain't finna be left out. We got them too. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. But yeah, we ain't did it in about a year. You know That's good, saying? man. That's yeah. good. Because a lot of people in the music business, they scared of that kind of shit. You oh, know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They think so you're a risk. yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> if you, um, I was just listening to uh, 50 Cent, he got a new book out mm -hmm. called Hustle Harder, Hustle Smarter. And I was listening to it on YouTube. Uh -huh. They took it down now because <laughs> I was listening to this shit for free. Yeah. <laughs> but they took it down. But it was like um, he was saying something about when he was in the streets. He needed that energy yeah. to, you know what I mean, to keep motherfuckers off of him. Uh -huh. But when he got in the music business, it was like a um, a deterrent for the people who who wanted to do business with yeah. him, where they was just scared to, and so he had to kind of back down off of. So yeah. I, I, on one hand, I get it, I understand it, but on the other hand, I'm like, if y'all want to elevate to the point where y'all don't have to worry about the streets, uh -huh. like we just. Just strategically, just move different. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, you got to, especially these. Because y'all got the talent. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got the talent. You know what I mean? It's just you don't want to scare motherfuckers off yeah, before they give y'all the bag. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, true that. Yeah. True that. yeah. All right. So when um um when can we expect some more music? Uh, we just dropped a, what three days, four days ago. We just dropped the visual. It's called All In. We got like we got all my life. It's been getting ready to drop probably any day. All my life. Yeah. Okay. It's on little daddy mixtape. The mixtapes I was telling you. Uh, yeah. But the visual finna drop. Uh, we got a song called Long Days. I'm actually I'm gonna send it to you so you can play it out. That's our next project that we about to drop. With oh, okay. And uh. It's time for us to go and drop. We supposed I I was gonna drop it May the third, but I ain't gonna lie, my uh, replacement card didn't come <laughs> right time. Okay. So I got my replacement credit card. Okay. Then, uh, we finna drop the mixtape with the features with CJ, uh, Bugatti, Campaign Self, and he still gotta add his verse to the little running song. But we already did a video, so it's gonna kind of be like a remix. Oh, okay. Featuring Lil Daddy. Okay. You know what I'm okay. So we gonna get him five feature songs and probably three of us. Give them eight songs, you know what I'm saying? Okay. But we're gonna give them some bangers. Yeah, yeah, that's what's <laughs> we're up, give man. Them some bangers. Yeah, that's what's up. I wanna um, it's just I got a homeboy that's from Dallas. He live mm -hmm. in L.A. now. That's a director. I guess. Like he did, yeah, he do. He he direct videos and, but 
he he cost a little money, but I'm gonna see if he'll do a favor. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, we so appreciate. I'm gonna see if he'll do a favor. I I I ain't gonna say he gonna do it. Yeah, yeah. we know. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Yeah. If if, if, it's, it's, if y'all got a song that y'all like. We want to we want to really push this one song. That's mm-hmm. really the song I'm talking about. I'm, I'm a, I can see if he uh if he'll put it if he at least look at it, listen to the music, uh-huh. and see what he want to do. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Nah, for real. Yeah, we appreciate I, that. Man. Yeah, yeah, for, for sure, real, man, man, for sure. Because I feel like like one of the reasons why I even started this whole thing, tap in, uh-huh. is one I wanted to highlight different artists or different people uh-huh. in the Dallas area uh-huh. that's doing shit. You know what but I'm saying? Good, yeah, and I see that y'all doing it. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Anything I could do to like put y'all help, you know yeah, what I mean? Put y'all in the, I am. Yeah, put y'all in the direction I where position, I'm put you in position. Yeah, absolutely. That's that's what this that's what this whole thing tap in is about, man. That's Trying good. to put you in a position to elevate your life. You know oh, what I really? mean? That's that's what I want to do. Um now I I I asked ask KG a bunch of questions, little daddy. So now I'm finna, I'm finna ask you, who's your uh, who's your musical influence? Who do you listen to? Like you like, yeah, that nigga hard. Mm. I ain't gonna lie, his favorite rapper was Plies back in the day. <laughs> Plies favorite rapper was Plies. Plies ain't, Plies ain't bad. Plies is underground. Up, like he, Wayne. yeah, he um, Plies is hard though. You know yeah. what I mean? Plies Plies not ain't bad, and I think. I think if I was if I was a rapper, I would probably want to go to Ply's route. Yeah, mm-hmm. because I don't have to. I ain't under no like strict label where I gotta put out a whole album. Yeah, if I'm feeling a song, and I just put out a song. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's how he do it. Yeah, so I fuck with Ply's. Yeah, so Ply's is an underdog man that I, I fuck with. So who else? Know, that's who I listen to, and then like I listen to Future. You know? Okay. I listen to Future. Um, who else? Kevin Gates. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I don't be too much listen to the young rap. I I listen to them, but I don't just too much just yeah. You know, them like that. I I like the old heads. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Okay. Kevin Gates is hard, man. Yeah, that nigga yeah. hard. Kevin Gates is hard. That nigga is so. That nigga is real as a motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, you know nah, what I'm saying? Real. Yeah. Yeah. Like do y'all um do y'all travel like and do shows and shit? No, not we, really. We do shows like when we first started. I ain't gonna lie. We was on the bow. We was ready to do everything, but then. I guess when we didn't see the results that we wanted to see, it slowed us down, but we stayed consistent. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And now it's like, okay, we starting to get them reach outs. What we thought that we was ready for then, you know what I'm saying? We getting now. Yeah. So it's time. We're we going to start back doing them real soon, you know what I'm saying? Like probably after coronavirus or something. Yeah, but once everything opened up. Yeah. We had a lot. Then mostly, another thing, you know, we don't like doing everything for free. Now, we'll do a couple of free shows. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Most of the shows is calling now because we on the uprise. Hey, can you come down here? And it's free. Like It, it costs gas money to get the innings. It yeah, costs yeah. gas money to get <laughs> yeah. to them. Different places that be DMing me or G, G, I mean Gmailing me. So I be like, so I'm gonna wait till we get out. I bag right, but I'm gonna wait till like, yeah, I need some results. I need some rap money. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. for real. Yeah, I need some rap money. Do y'all rehearse and shit, or yeah, nah. y'all just go for it? <laughs> go for it. <laughs> yeah. <And> yeah. It, <laughs> we probably do need to start because we'll forget the whole song once we get on stage. <laughs> 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 like forgetting our words and stuff. But yeah. Hey, We'll turn it up too. Yeah, I know. I know y'all will. But I, like, because that's what, from what I hear, that most rappers don't even practice on is their live shows. You know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> like, pe- they just don't because it's all about when I'm in the booth. Yeah. And they, that's all they focus <laughs> on. And they be, they are, they are a monster at rapping. But, but when it comes to the live shows, when people come out and see them, it's like niggas tripping over mics, tripping yeah, over chords, you know what I'm saying? Man. It's everything going on there. And it's like the people, when when they come and see you, they want you to put on a show. Yeah. Because that's when they really get to be yeah. in, in yeah. contact with you, you know what I mean? And that's why I want to make sure that when y'all, uh, is there, y- y'all rehearsing to make sure that that is on point. Nah, but we, nah, get, we, we got to do better. We going to start though. rehearsing. Because we, 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 we be, it's like. We have some what's going on throughout the day, and we'll have a show and have to be there by 10. And 
this, we had a song with them packed and everything, but when it's time for us to get on stage and the mic, <laughs> the mic gets paid. like you freeze up. Yeah. Like, damn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> got my point. Yeah. <laughs> like, I got a mumbly now and hope they don't hear me mumbling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you got to prepare, though, man. Yeah. That's, that's, what, that's what it comes down yeah. to when you prepare yeah. and you ready for that moment. Mm -hmm. That's when that's when your success is really yeah, going to come. Really do. You know what I'm saying? That's when you really get to... And and then you're not even nervous no more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're not even nervous it's or anything no like, more because you prepare for it. You prepare, you you've been yeah. rehearsing so much that now it's just <laughs> like shit. I'm doing what I've been doing for the last week. Nowadays it is it is same funny though. You in the mirror rehearsing, rehearsing. You know this is normally what you see your female doing. Yeah, <laughs> it is. But but listen, that preparation. Yeah. Is is what everybody do, y'all? Y'all just everybody. We don't get to see it, mm -hmm. but everything. Everybody always prepared. The person who's most prepared, they look like they. Oh, they just got it down. They just yeah. niggas just so easy got it down. But no, them niggas being in <laughs> in there making faces and yeah. you know what I mean, all that shit. But you, we don't get to see that. Mm -mm. But when they come out, you be like, yep. that nigga killed, killed that, that shit. You yep. know what I mean? Yeah, yep, you're right. So don't be don't don't be too proud to a motherfucker <laughs> rehearse. You know what I mean? I used to do comedy. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I used to be a comedian. I ain't know that. Yeah, straight up. I used to be a comedian. And I used to be in the mirror doing my jokes in the fucking mirror. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's like when I got on the stage to actually do the jokes, when that shit just seemed like it was normal. You know what I yeah. mean? To everybody else, it's like, oh, this nigga's good, blah, blah, blah. But it was me rehearsing and practicing. Rehearsing, yeah. Every day, yeah. yeah, when motherfuckers didn't see me rehearsing. Yeah. And yeah, that shit felt awkward and funny at first. <laughs> you you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like you had to be like, I told that bitch. You know what I'm saying? You gotta you gotta act it out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So when you get on stage. Nah, for real. Yeah, when you get on stage, everybody yeah. like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And That's it just it though. just normal then, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. So don't be don't be afraid to rehearse. Or none of that shit, you know what yeah, I'm saying? You're right though. Yeah, because for real. When the time comes, you will forget your words if you don't rehearse. Cause nah, I do it all real. the time. Yeah, man. I do it all the time. Do y'all got a plug in? Um, what's the little? Um, it's a little venue. Um, off of I think it's like 35. 35 and what? Oh, fuck. it's in the cliff or at her? No, it's it's in it's not in the cliff. It's in like North Dallas. It's a um, what's the name of that venue out there that all the rappers, they have like music uh, artists that come out here. Damn it, I can't remember the name of it. Talking uh, about the where they throw concert. Yeah, yeah. Gas monkey. Gas monkey. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. We got plugs for the gas monkey. Okay, <laughs> yeah, listen. Plugged in. The best way that y'all can get in front of like other artists, have y'all plug in there. Be like, yo, man, let let, let us me just. Open. Yeah, let me open. Let me just get a couple of songs in. Yeah. One song, I'm good. Two songs, I'm great. See, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's we ain't got it to that for you, but we got it to where it's plugged in enough. Like, if Moneybag Yo come perform at the Gas Monkey, guess what? We're going to be at the Gas Monkey where Moneybag Yo perform. Oh, uh, okay. We ain't got it to where, hey, man, let me open up for him yet. We just got cool security guard enough to, hey, I'm going to let y'all on stage. But, hey, you know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm crazy. Build that up. Just build yeah. that up. You know what I'm saying? And ask the security guard, like, who's the manager? Yeah. yeah. Who's the manager for X, Y, and Z rapper? You know what I'm yeah. saying? Mm -hmm. Holla at him. And then next time y'all come in town, or next time y'all in town, yo, let me let me perform. Yeah, let me open. Yeah. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah, true that. Just get your foot in the door little by little. That, that's, like, everybody think, like, the music business is so big. Yeah. The shit is so small. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, and I guarantee you, the more you keep showing up every time yeah. that person come in town, uh -huh. they're going to be like, bet. Come yeah. on, KG. Bring, get <laughs> yeah. your song ready. No, bring, yeah. Yeah, yeah, bring your crew. Mm -hmm. We're going to let y'all get five minutes. You know what I'm saying? That's good. That's, that's two minutes. That's, that's all we need. need. That's it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's all we need. That's it. That's all y'all need. Just to be heard. That's it, man. Um, Before we close this out, do y'all want to, y'all got, y'all kick a freestyle or something? We can get back in the uh, back in the uh, lunch table and shit back in school. Oh, we can't. We ain't tripping, man. We can kick a freestyle. I mean, whatever y'all want to do. If I mean, if y'all if y'all want to, y'all can. If y'all don't feel like it, I know I know y'all uh, an <laughs> artist. You know what I'm saying? You I know your artist. Hey, we'll figure it out. We'll figure out a little freestyle <laughs> to it. That's what we. Don't, I told you we don't write nothing. Yeah. <laughs> nah, for real. Cause I mean, what y'all need? What y'all need? A beat or what y'all need? Yeah, give us a beat. 
Let me see what I can come up with. Let me see. <laughs> Yeah. You know, we're at a helper. Yeah. Hey. Okay. This beat is whack, huh? We can grab. This beat is whack. I could have grabbed. You can grab. All right. Yeah. Yeah. This way we the shit, nigga. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Off the block, I had to get it. These niggas know that I'm with it. Me and my brother in the booth, you know that we the truth. Hold on. <laughs> I had to be slow. Nigga. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm mad. I'm fucking up. I'm sorry. Hey, 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 hey let me tell you a story real quick. <laughs> one time I had went to jail real quick. I went to jail one time. <laughs> And we was in like a like little holding cell. Yeah. And I was in there. They was <laughs> they was asking me to do the beat. And a nigga got mad at me. He was like, hey man, you keep fucking up the beat, man. <laughs> I, was, I was like, my bad. It's how I, be. But, I uh, like my bad. But go ahead, go ahead, kick I it. I wonder, uh, dang, where my phone? So y'all, cause you can hear long days. The one we talking about. I don't know. Go out intro. You got oh, yeah, my phone? Huh. Oh, he I was me, fucking man. up, man. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> we still got we we still give him a freestyle. <laughs> yeah, give the people something, man. Oh, uh, that's the uh, long day. Or give them something. Um, you know what I'm saying? Give them something out off the off the uh, off the mixtape. This new one, what we finna drop? What we talking about? Put it up to the uh, to the mic. Is it uh, playing? Yeah, it's our new project right here. Okay. It ain't loud. Let me see. I can hear. Yeah, you can I can hear. hear. Yeah. Now who is this? This me on the. That's me on the hook right there. Okay. I remember. I fuck the baddest little bitches in and I'm all in the trenches. These niggas talking like bitches, so I just leave them on bitches. You know I talk and I scope. You know this money it go. I tell you if you come to my trap, you score and you go. I gave you heartache and pain. I try to give you the game. You wanna switch on the game? I got a plot pressure, man. I gotta stay out the way. Keep these bones out my face. Put my T right in place. So they can see better days. Long days, long days. I remember hustling on the block trying to get paid. I remember hustling on the block. That one's gonna be one wide. Yeah. Damn, rhyme with a K and a hundred K. 
Long days, long days. I remember hustling on the block trying to get paid. I remember hustling on the clock days I couldn't bathe. Now I'm riding with a K in a hundred K. <laughs> that's hard, man. Yeah, that's a new, that's a new project right there. <laughs> what project is this on? Oh, it ain't even been. Released it ain't out yet. yet? No, nah, it just dropped it. <laughs> okay. It ain't <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's coming though. Man. Yeah, that's hard, man. That's hard, man. Yeah, man, I appreciate y'all for coming nah, through, we man. Appreciate you, too, man. Nah, man, for real. Leave your um, leave all your social everything oh, where yeah, people we can get a hold of y'all, man. Uh, oh, you yeah. can follow me on IG. W E underscore W I T H underscore I T K G and you can catch me on Facebook as Keith Simmons, you know what I'm saying? YouTube, KG and Lil Daddy. We got a We With a channel, We With a Gang, go subscribe, get all our music. And y'all can catch me on IG as We With a Lil Daddy, man. And on Facebook is We With a Lil Daddy. Yeah. We really Rogers. <laughs> That's what's up, man. I appreciate y'all for coming through, man. <laughs> nah, for sure, for too. sure. I had fun on this motherfucker. Yeah, nah, for real. For sure, for sure. Drinks and everything. Yeah, yeah. That's, right. Yeah. That's right. Y'all better come on, guys. Yeah. Y'all fuck with yeah. it. Hey, if Tapin invites you, you better come. That's <laughs> right. real. Hey. Yo, man, this has been the Tap In Podcast. I appreciate y'all for tapping in with me. This has been the Tap In Podcast. Holla. All right.